Hello, this is your Wiregrass Electric Cooperative Update. Alabama's Congresswoman Martha Roby took some time out of her busy schedule to meet with Wiregrass Electric Cooperative's employee members of the ACRE Committee. ACRE stands for Action Committee for Rural Electrification. At the local level and through our statewide and national associations, WEC monitors legislative and regulatory developments to try to make sure that local, state, and federal laws and rules are not detrimental to the energy interests of our members. The purpose of the meeting was to communicate with Roby the need for energy providers like WEC to maintain the ability to provide the average family the reliable, affordable energy they expect and why energy providers must be active participants when seeking solutions for the future. During the meeting, CEO Michael McWaters expressed views on how proposed energy policy changes would affect WEC, our members, and our power supplier, Power South Energy Cooperative, through generation and EPA standards. Anything on renewable energy standards, the EPA's attack on coal, any of those kinds of things that drive up wholesale power costs have a tremendous impact on our members because they have to pay for all that. Right. And, uh, that's, and then obviously our, our people, that's the other uh, issue we're concerned about, costs sometimes. OSHA regulations sometimes are very burdensome. Uh, the last week or so we've just been, you see Robbie's clothes here, we have, are required to wear uh, flame retardant clothing for our employees. Seems like every year that gets more strict and more strict and more strict. And if you're in South Alabama and it's 100 and some odd degrees, uh, it's, it's not, the most, not the most pleasant <laughs> thing in the world to wear. Uh, and, and you know, obviously, if we want to be safe, but at the same time, there's got to be some leniency there. We can certainly issue the issues that we're trying to grapple with that we're not sure um, how to attack is efficiency. It's uh, when you deal with our members every month, we deal with a lot of people on fixed income, mm -hmm. that five, six hundred dollars a month may be their total income. Two hundred and fifty dollar power bill, you know, that's half their income. So, so what do they do? Right. And uh, you know, you can give people some money to help them pay their bill, but you really have to fix the problem. Because next month they're gonna have the same problem. Right. And what we've done is is kind of local response, not that it's uh, a cure all. But we've had a partner with Habitat for Humanity, and we funded a hundred thousand dollar revolving home fund with Habitat to try to help these people get their homes insulated. You know what we're trying to do is figure out a way to get their populace to come down. Mm -hmm. Is that working? Yeah, you know, it helps those you know directly that obviously are receiving the, the Habitat assistance, but indirectly it helps everyone in our system because if we can have a home use twenty percent less energy, that means they're wasting twenty percent less, which means Heather and her company. So much less you have to go back. Yeah. Right. And so everybody has a has an indirect benefit because if our costs are lower through wholesale costs through power south, then everybody has a benefit of that. And I uh, think it's really a win win win. In addition to telling WEC's story to our representatives through lobbying activities, co op employees, trustees, and their families participate in the legislative processes by making contributions to ACRE. As a political action committee, or PAC, ACRE makes contributions to candidates for public office who are supportive of positions of electric cooperative members. Co-ops are strong because of the grassroots support of employees and members throughout the country. You know, it's interesting, and every time I hear the president talk about jobs, it's becoming increasingly clear that there is just such a fundamental uh, philosophical, ideological difference between what, what I know is to be a solution, which is capitalism and free markets, everything that our country was built upon, that creates jobs. The government doesn't create jobs. That you're having to deal with are monies that you could be putting into lowering the cost of energy for people down here <coughs> instead of using those dollars to comply with federal regulations or buy, you know, flame retardant material that costs more for your uniforms, whatever it may be. 
okay. um, in, in my committees. It's really good to say I was at uh, Wiregrass uh, Electric Co-op and I had a conversation. Let me tell you what they have done. Because that, that's the face. I mean, that's the face of the lady that's calling you crying because she has to choose between putting food on the table for her children and paying her bill. And the employees participated in a question and answer session with Roby where topics of discussion revolved around Social Security, the President's health care plan, and additional labor issues. The members of WEC's Acre Committee are Kay Sullivan, Nathan Worsham, Danny Adams, Robbie Daniels, Jennifer Ward, and Rhonda Webb. Well, I appreciate y'all having me here today and to learn more about what you do and how you provide uh, service to your members. Um, and I'm very appreciative of that uh, knowledge, but also how uh, what you do is so clearly integrated into the larger decisions that are being made in Washington every day, um, energy production, um, and whether or not we can have domestic energy production would largely affect uh, the cost to your customers uh, every day. And so the importance to, to, to draw the correlation and to know the importance of um, how the decisions that we make directly affect people's bottom line right here in Southeast Alabama, always believed in an all of the above approach. And, um, you know, we, we need to do all that we can to become less dependent on Middle Eastern oil so that we can, um, we know that we have resources right here in our country uh, that we can sustain our energy consumption here in the United States. And, um, you know, I will continue to fight for that. Wiregrass Electric appreciates Congresswoman Martha Roby's dedication to listening to constituents' views on legislative issues and for her support keeping energy costs affordable for WEC members.